I mean, it's not uncommon. This game is actually not even particularly bad for this, but a lot of video games are not programmed very well. And when you put pressure on them, they fucking implode. Like, they're just held together well enough that you can play at the bare minimum level. Like, you can play like a casual playthrough, right? Like, 99% of people that play a video game will only ever play it one time. So it only needs to work the first time, right? As long as everything works the first time, it's generally regarded as a good game. So that means it only needs to be programmed and tested well enough to work under the circumstances of someone who doesn't know what they're doing. And because of that, most video games, when you put them under a lot of pressure, i.e. like, you know, pushing them to the limit of what's possible within the mechanics themselves, the mechanics start to break. Like, Doom Eternal is a good example. If you are playing the game at higher than 250 FPS, or you're playing the game at higher than 100 FPS, enemies are faster, attack from further away, and are more aggressive, and it scales with FPS. So at 100, they're a little bit more aggressive, but at 250, which is what we speed run at, they're way more aggressive. Some attacks also do more damage at higher frame rates, enemy attacks. So like on Ultra Nightmare, uh, Hell Knights can do over 300 damage with one attack, which is more than full shields and full, um, more than full shields and full health combined. So you can instantly die. It's not supposed to do that. The game's just broken. Or like another good example is um, it's impossible to special bonus mission 7 in this game on Dante Must Die. Because you have to no damage and beat it under like 2 minutes, 3, three minutes I think, and <laughs> collect like 600 orbs. You collect the orbs by killing Phantom, makes sense. The time limit's not an issue. But you take damage over time in that mission. It's unavoidable. You have to take damage over time. Which means that no matter what, it's impossible to SB. Now, they're, what, what they did to counteract this is they put a secret mission in that mission. Because secret missions give you points. So if you collect all the orbs and beat the time limit while doing the secret mission, you can take some damage and be able to SB. That's how mission 3 is as well. But the problem is, the secret mission is random. And on Dante Must Die, the chip damage r ruins your rank. So in order to SB mission seven on DMD, you have to have the Clyclopses kill each other and do secret mission five in like less than a minute without, while being in DT the whole time. Otherwise you take too much damage. But the secret mission is completely fucking random. The enemies health in the secret mission is random and the attacks they do is random so it's never been done it's really dumb 
It's almost like they didn't actually bother to test if it would work on DMD because, you know, why bother balancing things for high level players? Another good example is uh, Left 4 Dead 2. The enemy models, like the hitboxes for jockeys, hunters, smokers, all that stuff, is actually way distended from the model because the game is built for multiplayer and you're supposed to be playing on shitty servers with high ping. So they actually made it so the hunter hitbox is approximately two and a half hunters ahead of him on the lunge. So he's like here, but his hitbox is way over here. So you have to bash hunters like a whole second before they would hit you visually. But obviously like when you're playing offline and you're not playing on a server, typing, it's just bullshit. The same thing applies for jockeys. And hunters and jockeys can both do something really special. If there's a... If you bash a jockey out of the air, but the hitbox lands on top of your head after, like when he's stumbling, if he lands on top of your head, you still get pounced. Because... It, just fuck you, I guess. Like, you'll get the bash, the enemy will be stumbling. But if you're walking forward when you do it, then he lands on your head anyways, and then auto grabs you. Also, if you melee an enemy like that, and they fall off of something, like they're on a table when you melee them, they stumble off the table, the frame they're off the table, they can lunge again, even if they're in the air. So you'll like melee a jockey, he'll stumble off a table and then instantly teleport to your head. Because for casual play, it's good enough. But if you try to fucking play the game well, it's complete and utter bullshit. Perfect fight. Nice. There's tons of stuff like that. Like, in every game ever, there's stuff like that. It's insane. The only games that aren't like that are like super competitive esports games or like fighting games. <coughs> Because those are designed to be played at an insanely high level. So one of the downsides of speedrunning is that sometimes, well a lot of the time, when you get to a really high level of a speedrun, you start to realize how bullshit the game is because it's just not programmed to be played that way. Like it's not designed to live up to that level of scrutiny. Because they don't ever actually expect anyone to play at that level. Some games are like that, but they only get better the more you figure out about them. Like DMC4, there's a million things like that, but they're all super cool. They're all really rad for style play. Like, if you're facing away from an enemy and you lock on and charge shot and you're like a couple of 
a couple of centimeters above the ground, the animation for charge shot, like the recoil, just gets canceled. It's called charge shot cancel. It's super cool. It's like really useful for combos and looks really cool. And it works, e it works better at lower FPS, like 60 FPS, it's way easier. There's a lot of Virgil tech like that, where at 60 FPS, it's like infinitely easier to pull off. Yeah, there's some shit like that, like melee is another good example. Melee has a ton of like crazy, weird, distended hitboxes or like hitboxes that are supposed to exist, but don't. Or like extendo grabs and like weird bugs and shit. Cause it's just not designed to be played at a high level, right? But consequentially, wave dashing is also a thing and that's not intended either, but it makes playing at a high level more fun as opposed to less fun. Severail, how you doing? Do you know that in CE, the sniper has RNG bullet spread? Very cool and not really noticeable unless you start playing at a high level. Yeah, stuff like that makes no sense to me. It's like, why? It takes more effort to program that in than to not program it in. And it only affects people that want to play at a high level. The casual player is literally never going to notice. All it does is fuck over high level players. Nice. No, I got hit. Sag. Rip for SB. Shotgun RNG bullet spread. Do you know that the XM10 in CSGO doesn't actually have RNG bullet spread? The other shotguns do, but the XM10 doesn't. I'm really bummed that I got hit though. That sucks. This is still a 1 2 3 run, so it's really good, but I really wanted a 1 2 3 4 run. <clears throat> that is not what I did. This game is just bad. Read my inputs correctly, please. I'm fucking bad at this video game. What am I doing, dude? Fucking just end my life, Jesus.
I like trash. Welcome back, Bandit. It's fine. Just get five and six SB. Fuck this game. Why doesn't your DT heal? It doesn't on DMP. It's green equals it's fine. That's not true at all. These splits mean nothing. These are my all collectible splits. Or Brout is all that matters in this run. Time doesn't matter at all. If I finished ahead of these splits... Well, okay. These splits are 8 minutes... No. Record is a 125. These splits are 9 minutes faster than the world record for this category. So I can be plus nine and still get world record. The, the problem is finishing the fucking run. Oh, you're good. What the fuck? Off, off camera, no audio cue. Hello! This game is so bad. Off camera, no audio cue. Uh, oh, you got hit, lol. This game's fucking awful. Worst game I've ever played. So that's one, two, three, f uh, five. So that's four SBs. It's still a good pace, but. I really wanted to get six. The camera angle's not even the problem there. It's the fucking lack of an audio cue on the attack. It exists, but it plays super, super early and it's really high pitched and you can't really hear it over your gunshots. not loud enough. How about this? How about you just don't have your enemies be able to attack from off camera? If you're not gonna fucking actually make it so they have audio cues.
All right. Be nice to me, Secret Mission 5. Literally jumps. No, that secret mission is done in between missions. It's not on a mission, so it doesn't matter. You can use items, get hit as much as you want, die, revive, doesn't matter. You're not on a mission. terrible fight. I can't fucking see! I fucking hate this game. I fucking hate this game. It's fucking dog shit, dude. It's so fucking bad, like... Shut the fuck up, Kaiser. Like, what the fuck is this game? It's so fucking bad, like... Can't believe that fucking shit, dude. Fucking terrible this game. No one will ever remember your existence. When you die, not a single soul will remember you. I hope you remember that. Just like no one in chat's ever gonna fucking remember you existing in like three minutes from now.
When you seem a tad fucking stupid. It doesn't matter because down patching exists, and that's what speedrunners have always done and will always do. Patches don't matter and don't affect speedrunning. So I got one, two, three, and five. So I need six more. I need 10, 11, 12, 13. That'll be four, then 19, 21. I can't miss a single SB. Unless I go for 15 or 17. I'm not gonna get 10, so I need 15 or 17. At least. Hit the fucking enemy, Dante.
Nice, 10 SP. Thank God. So I have five SPs now. Five more to go. Four more SPs to go. Yeah, LDK has been done. LDK is what all the old runners used. Yeah, I mean, Fast Omega X. Hello? No, uh, not Super Dante, 100% run, I don't think. Land, come on. Good.
Hello? Thank you, Jesus fucking Christ. He would literally not die. He had one HP. Can you explain the reason for the strat at the end of the fight? It's faster. And safer. Than doing anything else. Alright, one, two, three, five, that's four, one, two, three, five, ten, eleven, twelve, two, uh, ten, that's five, Six, seven. I need three more. I need two more. Just two more. Fifteen, seventeen, nineteen, and twenty one are my options. Got four left. I only need two more. What's the sound for you? Like, uh, like a specific sound that tells you what it cues you to do something? Like it tells you when to do something? Just die. Two all four, that would be sick. Yeah, usually it's called an audio cue. Like in DMC3, less make like a, a screeching sound before they charge because human reaction time is faster based on audio cues as opposed to video cues. Auditory stimulus is tracked by the brain faster than visual. So, in order to make attacks, especially from off-screen, more fair, you got an audio cue that happens way before the visual happens. So that you can hear the audio, know that an attack's coming, and then dodge, even if you can't see it. Or if you can see it, then the audio cue is a better, more reliable way to dodge it, because you can hear it. But the way that sound frequencies work are as higher frequency sounds are heard over top of lower frequency sounds, so audio cues need to be high pitched. So like sometimes you won't be able to hear a shadow's audio cue because you're shooting at it. Because the frequency of the gunshire gunfot gunshots is higher than the frequency of the growl from Shadow. So you literally are just physically unable to hear it. Because of the way that 
sound works. Game devs involves a lot of science, and it's fun to learn about. Oh my fucking god. That was cringe. Sound travels faster than light? That's not true. <laughs> but you process sound faster than you do light. Okay, I would l definitely love to special bonus this mission. Which means I need no damage. No, but I took three years of game dev, and I've always been fascinated with it. It's fun to learn about. I learned most of what I just said from Matthew Matosis' video on this game, the one that I reference in my latest video. Specifically the audio frequency thing. And reaction time. Yeah, I went to college for three years for game dev. But I didn't really learn much. Mostly just how to 3D model. <laughs> Which I'm not very good at. All that information is extremely pertinent when you're designing a game because those things are important, right? Like, knowing that you need an audio cue on an attack and it needs to be, you know, you can have it even be later than the start of the attack animation because you react faster to audio cues, and if attacks are gonna be happening from off screen, then you definitely need them to have audio cues. That's just an, that's just obvious, right? But it's even more obvious when you realize that it's more important than a visual cue. That's probably part of the reason why Elden Ring attacks are so fucking hard to dodge. Since they're delayed for so long, you only can react based on pure visual. You can't auditorily react to attacks in Elden Ring. Because they take so fucking long to come out that there's no audio cue. I didn't make that connection until just now. It doesn't mean they're impossible, but... Definitely makes it harder. Because you literally react slower. Yeah, it was fucking annoying. I hated it. Yeah, Elden Ring is Dark Souls 7. From Sauce only knows how to make one game. And that's the seventh time they made it.
mean, Demon Souls, Dark Souls 1, 2, and 3, Sekiro, Bloodborne. That's 6, right? So. Oh, the ring is Dark Souls 7? Demon Souls 7? Yeah, that's actually more accurate. That be happens. Aram Tack, thanks for the raid, dude. Appreciate that. Upper stream as well. No way, dude! I fucking hate this game! I fucking hate it, dude! God damn it. Literally needed like one more fucking attack, dude. This game's fucking trash. Can't believe that fucking hit me. So dumb. Fucking garbage ass video game. Still need two more SBs. I only needed one after that, but I hit the last fucking second by the most bullshit attack. Hammer angle's so fucking awful on that attack. Did you not pay attention to the last fucking like six minutes of conversation, Spades? Hello? Yeah, it is. I'm before school. Can't wait till I'm done with this shit category. It's fucking awful. Unlucky, got a shadow. Skewer.
I hit the fucking ceiling, dude. This game is so fucking bad. Like, I can't. I actually can't believe that it shipped like this. Fucking die! What the actual fuck? Hello? This game is fucking dog shit. It's fucking awful. It's literally the worst game I've ever played in my fucking life. It's actually fucking horrendous. Like, seriously, whoever fucking worked in this game should be on a no breed list. They can't fucking reproduce. It's illegal. Their genes need to be eliminated from the fucking gene pool. Every single fucking man, woman, and child that even touched the production of this game. Fucking remove those genes from the gene pool. It's fucking awful. They're the worst game that's ever been programmed, ever. I lost like a whole fucking minute to that shadow because he just will not die. He just said, no, I'm not dying. It's done. Represent the amount of core damage, not the amount of damage. It's complicated. <coughs> the cores break when they take enough core damage, which is a different thing than regular damage. How the fuck? The general gist of it is that <coughs> more hits equals it breaking faster. So you want to do big, slow attacks. Generally. Well, 
lock onto a fucking enemy, Dante. Hello. There's like 12,648 enemies down there. Lock onto one of them, dude. What the fuck are you doing? Welcome back. Nice chair. I need two more SBs. I really want to get 17. Great fight. Oh my god, I got no buddies. That's so unlucky. Okay, we're good. So I'll get hit in LL and then SB. Very good.
Nice job. That's 17. I need one more. One more SP. Hey, Alistair Grimm. How you doing? It fucked nightmare. Too easy. Oh, I need one more SP. Let's get nineteen. Make this free. Morning, Baku. Get some like a luck. I'll need it.
It's all collects except for Bengal. Please give me an FDT. <clears throat> I don't think I get an FDT. Oh, I did not. It's okay. No vortex. I just S20. I have all the special bonuses I need, or at least I should. Just S20. And make sure to get the frosts. Here we go. Eat me. Switch to Alistair. Very good health drop. Let's do this.
fuck yes. Alright. Pretty huge uh I use live split. It's basically what everyone uses. It's way better than W split. You should definitely use live split. I got this. I got this. For sure, I got this. Nice cosmo climb. I got this. I got this. Here we
I got this. I can do this. I got this. I can fucking do this. Come on, baby. Can we get RNG, baby? Yes! I can do this. I can do this. Fucking die. Oh my god. Let's fucking go. Let's fucking go. Holy shit. It's not over yet. It's not over yet. Breathe. Breathe. It's not over yet. Breathe. Not over yet. Not over yet.
Looks like we have a winner. Yes, dude. Yes, dude. <laughs> yes, dude. There we fucking go. Yeah, yeah, this is undone. <laughs> this run will be here for such a fucking long time. I will be so fucking impressed if anyone ever beats this. This is only a minute slower than my fucking all collectibles record. 100% all special all secret missions all s ranks fucking all shop items all of it fucking done 115 no deaths no saving quick glitch fucking yolo mundus i fucking did it dude this category is fucking dead there's no way slickford's record is a 124 this is seven minutes better than that G fucking G. Fuck this category. This category fucking blows dick. It's way more about luck than it is skill. And I'm never fucking running this shit again. I will never fucking run this category again. And it doesn't fucking matter because it's dead. No one's fucking beaten that for a super long time. I don't know. I don't even know, know why anyone would try. Fuck that. We got special bonus one, two, three, five. I missed eight, I'm pretty sure, right? One, two, three, five, 11, 12, or 10, 11, 12, 13, 15, uh, 19 and 21. <laughs> I'm pretty sure is what it was. I was, I, tr I had to stop myself so fucking bad after I beat Mundus. From crying, dude, I, I like started to tear up I, when I killed Mundus and I was like, oh my god, I fucking did it. But I had to stay calm and fucking just do 23, make sure I get the S rank. Dude, you see the fucking five head play too? I fucking, in Secret Mission 5, I was like, you know, I'm really low on health. I should probably use my Vital Star. And I said, you know what? No, I'm going to not use my Vital Star and I'm just going to risk it because... I can use the vital star on 22 and still S rank. And look what fucking happened. I got bad RNG. I couldn't deflect the fireballs because I didn't have DT. I used the fucking vital star. Tank the fireballs. One HP left. Kill him. Fucking there's the run. Save the fucking vital star. Yep. Kill the dragon. Use the vital star when I absolutely needed it. I had the fucking backup. And I'm the only person to ever hit that Mundus strat in a run. And it's only been done twice. The first run of the day yesterday at the start of a 20 hour stream where I said I will fucking get this record today before I end stream. And you know what? I couldn't. But I was like, you know what? As soon as I wake up the next day, I'm going to fucking get it. And 10 hours later, I fucking did. And this category is fucking dead. And now I have all collectibles and 100% record in DMD. So now I'm going to get any percent and low percent. And then DMD is fucking over. Then I'm done with DMC1. Ah, dude, fuck! I can't believe this run. Ugh.
I like actually can't believe it, it was fucking insane. <coughs> Didn't have to grind at all. No save a quick glitch. No deaths. Oh my god, dude, I was so relieved. I was so fucking over it, dude. I did not want to grind this game for another day. I'm s like, all collectibles is such a better category, dude. Like, there's so much of this is RNG. Like, so making sure you have to get these special bonuses is just RNG, dude. But, it's over. It's fucking over. Oh my god.